an interesting thing that you touch on is road relationships and romances, which I think is a, is sort of underwritten a little bit. I think as travel writers, we're hesitant to talk about road romance. Um, actually, when when I wrote Vagabonding, a lot of people asked me, "Oh, well." Um, Tell me about this relationship you had with a Hungarian archaeologist. And I'm like, oh, well, that's a reference to the English patient. I wasn't actually talking about my personal life. Um, but in your book, you you acknowledge that there are romantic relationships on the road, uh, but that those, like the friendships that you meet, there's an acknowledgement that it's not necessarily permanent. And I think that there's a way of that we talk about romance sometimes where that seems like a bad thing. Um, but in a way... Those can be fun, not just fun, but meaningful relationships too. So why don't you talk a little bit about your experience with uh, with road romance? Like friendships, you know, they do have an expiration date, and I think that allows people to to really like, you know, get involved and have deeper relationships with people without the fear of baggage and the worry of any social judgment from back home. You know, we think of relationships as something that you get into with like there there needs to be an end like why would you get into a relationship that you're going to you know split up with somebody it's you, we're searching for life partners and on the road when you're going a million different ways you're not really searching for that and so stripped away from all that you can really develop deep personal relationships and they happen a lot quicker mostly because as we mentioned you're with somebody for you know a lot of time, you know, really quickly, but also th there's no dating. You know, it's not like, hey, I'll call you next week and we'll go to dinner. Next week you're going to be in a different country. You have to really dive, dive in really quickly because, you know, you you know you only have a few days together. Maybe you have a couple of weeks and your schedules are, are going the same way, um, or maybe a couple of months if you really like each other, but. There's still, you know, it's rare that I think you find your partner, your life partner on the road. It happens all, all the time, but more often than not, it's sort of a temporary relationship. Yeah, I think I think sometimes there is this dichotomy back home that if it's not meant to be a test run for a long term relationship or a, or a life partnership, then it's a little bit predatory, you know, like that. It, it's uh, there's there's a sort of a negative vocabulary sometimes you know players or whatever you know people who date around whereas on the road there is this accepted temporariness that there's not a social strike against um very intense but shorter romantic relationships um and so i think that need not be a negative thing it's almost like on the road we're given permission to have short-term relationships and like you say people often there's many marriages that are born from being on the road and i think that sometimes you learn more faster about your partner when you're traveling with them. You can really, you learn how you make decisions together as a couple. You learn about immediately about what you like and you don't like. But oftentimes, it is just part of the joy of travel that uh, that that romantic relationships, like friendships on the road, are shorter, and that's fine. And it's actually part of the joy of travel. There's a lot less angst, I think, in that aspect of romantic relationships. Hey, you know, you can meet somebody fall in love and break up all within like a day and a half, you know, because you, you do, you know, speed up the whole cycle of relationship when you're with someone 24 seven, you learn their habits, you know, you're, you're staying cramped in one hostel's private room together, you know, there's not much space, you know, so you really learn like, are they messy? Do they snore? Do they, you know, leave the bathroom a disaster. You know, what are their habits like? 